Hey guys, it's India. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another spirituality video for you guys. This video is going to be about my first spiritual bath. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys today. But before we get started, I just want to say a few things. So if you are coming to my channel um, and you're new, you haven't been here you know, the whole time I've had a YouTube channel, which was pretty much a hair based um, channel. I'm only now starting to share like my spirituality journey with you guys. But I wanted to mention that this um, hair review is up now. This is Free Tress Shirley Curl in the color T27. I will put the link to this review video down below. These are crochet braids. And then also I want to mention the outfit that I'm wearing, uh, which is just a little leopard print onesie. Um, yellow, of course, because we were working on our solar plexus chakra, you guys. So definitely been trying to wear more yellow these days so yeah i will link my loungewear store in the description box down below ajayofficial.com as well as the direct link to this cute little onesie in case you guys are interested so let's go ahead and jump right into the video you guys so i have my little notes here because i don't want to forget to tell y'all exactly what i put in my bath so yeah so i did mention at the beginning of the video that we are working on our solar plexus chakra right now and that is all about self-confidence you guys all about self-confidence self-love happiness just bettering yourself so yeah that's what we're working on right now and so i've been like like i said been trying to wear more yellow and then of course pretty much everything I put into my bath was yellow as well as far as the flowers and stuff. So I have my list here because I don't remember exactly because this was about two, three weeks ago. Um, I did this for the full moon. So I wanted to try to put it up. Hopefully I can, fingers crossed. I'm gonna try to put this up Wednesday um, so you guys can have this just in case you want to do a spiritual bath on Thursday because Thursday is the new moon. So of course I did this one for the full moon, but you can do spiritual baths at any time. Um, most people do them for like new moons or full moons, but whenever you feel like you want to take a spiritual bath, you can do that. So yeah. Let me go ahead and tell you guys what I put in it. So I went ahead and just like drew my bath water and then I added everything in one at a time. And I'm going to do a little B-roll at the end so you guys can see me um, adding everything into the bath and see exactly how it looks when I was finished. But um, the first thing I put in was my lavender bath salt. I got that from... Oh my gosh, I don't remember, but you can get bath salts from a lot of different places. You can get like the regular ones from Walmart. You can get um, pre-made like bath salts from different spiritual stores. They'll have those. They sell bath salts at like Whole Foods and stuff. You can get it from anywhere. And then I also added just a little tiny drop of Florida water to it. Not a lot. You guys will see literally I put like barely a splash in there. But I just wanted to add just a little bit in there of that. I also put just some lavender drops for calming. Um, these lavender drops, it will be the same thing that you would use if you have, um, oh my gosh, not a humidifier, but what's the... I can't remember but you guys know what I'm talking about the little thing you put by your bed and you just put the drops in it and then you know it lets off like the steam and it smells really good so those drops that's what I use you can get those from Amazon Walmart uh, wherever so yeah I use those I put just a little drop of honey for sweetness because like I said we're working on our self-love self-confidence and honey is just like sweet and romantic so I put that and then I also put just some grapefruit and some lemon slices um fresh of course one grapefruit, one lemon. I just sliced it up and then I put those in the tub as well, mostly for aesthetic. Um, and then I also put um, flowers as well. So um, sunflowers and then one other type of flower, but they were both yellow. So yeah, I went and got those, I believe like the day of or the day before, just to have a nice fresh flower. You guys, everything in your bath should be real. So you don't want to use like fake um, rose petals and stuff like that like you want everything to be real and like of the earth you know nature so yeah so nice and then I put my um my like bath tray I ordered one from Amazon so I put my bath tray down I put candles I have my two white candles you guys can do now this spiritual bath is specifically for working on my solar plexus chakra so everything you guys is going to be seeing um or it's going to be yellow and it's going to be all about like self-confidence and all of that you know but you can do any type of spiritual bath if you want to do one to help manifest money if you want to do one for um like love not really like self-love and like friendships but like romantic love non-platonic relationships you guys can do that as well 
all different types. You can put whatever you want into your bath, okay? Um, so I did that, and then like I said, candles. I used um, one of the little Sephora um, face masks in there, the pineapple one, because the packaging was yellow, so that was like so cute. Um, my little glass that I had um, was ice and pineapple juice, in case you guys are wondering when you see that. And then I also put some crystals on my tub as well. So the two crystals I used, um, citrine and tiger's eye. So citrine I've mentioned before, if you guys have watched, um, I think like my first or second spirituality video, I told you guys that I had recently got a citrine crystal. And that is really great for working on the solar plexus chakra, really great for of course self confidence and self love. And I put tiger's eye as well. Now when you guys see it, you may not realize because it's not really a crystal. Um, but it is a tiger's eye butterfly ring that was actually a gift to me when I graduated from high school. So I put that um, on my tray as well. Tiger's eye is great for just releasing anxiety. It's great for harmony and balance, inner strength and can bring you good luck as well. So I put that on my tub too. So yeah, whatever guy, whatever guys, whatever crystals you guys want to put around your tub, definitely go to the spiritual store and pick those up, you guys. Or if you already have them at home, definitely use those crystals and just put them around your tub, um, especially with if you do it on a new moon or full moon, you guys know that you should charge your crystals um, under the moonlight at night um, so that they're ready to use. So yeah, super, super cute. It was like a really, really nice relaxing bath and you can do whatever you want in your bath. I personally don't like to do anything. Um, I did put my book on my bath tray literally like just for aesthetic to show you guys which um, is the secret which I am reading right now and I'm actually almost done but I did not read it while I was in the tub um, mostly because I just didn't want it to be by water I didn't want um, to be flipping the pages and like my hands were wet and I didn't heaven forbid it fell in the water like I didn't want to risk any of that so yeah I don't like to do anything when I'm in the tub I really just like to relax and just meditate and I play um, music um, but not music with words regular music I play um, like sound so I love like rainforest sounds listening to rain water anything that's like nature sounds I like that kind of thing I don't know if you guys know if I mentioned before but I am a cancer rising so I love all things that have to do with nature so like listening to just rainforest sounds and just relaxing closing my eyes get put on my mask and just you know like meditate I stayed in my tub for maybe like 30 minutes or so I would definitely say you know take your time with your bath it's not supposed to be like a rushed experience so if you are rushing I would say just wait and do it at a later date um because you don't want to you know rush through it's supposed to be a nice like relaxing experience so let me see what else i want to tell you guys um mm, yeah that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to say i mentioned um i do believe that you guys can do any type of spiritual bath you want and i'll probably put up um, another one or two in the future um, like I said this was my first one I I love baths in general um, just like regular bubble baths so the spiritual bath was such a great experience and I really really enjoyed that so I'll definitely be doing more of that and um, I will share with you guys of course in the future when I do um, another one I don't know what I want my next one to be I kind of like to theme them so as I continue to work on my different chakras I'll probably theme it around whatever I'm working on at the time. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. If you have any questions about anything, leave that in the comment section down below. If you also take spiritual baths, please put that down below and let me know what kind you do and what you um, add to your bath. If you add different things than I added, give us some ideas, okay? So yes, I would love to know for my next one what else I can do differently. So let's go ahead and jump right into the little b-roll of me just kind of filling the bathtub and putting everything in and I do apologize to you guys um, my camera had died at this time so I had to film it um, on my phone so don't be mad at me the quality is not going to be like as crisp as this part of the video but it's still really good so uh, definitely watch till the end so you guys can see that and I will see y'all in my next video don't forget to subscribe on your way out bye Okay guys, so there's one little thing that I forgot to tell y'all and I just realized after I um, ended the video, but you want to make sure that you do this in a clean bathroom. So I had cleaned my bathroom like 
earlier that week and then I like you know regular just traditional cleaning um, making sure the trash cans were empty and you know like everything else clean the tub all that um, but you want to cleanse your space as well so um, if you don't like sage you can also use Palo Santos um, to just you know cleanse your bathroom and just cleanse the space so definitely make sure you do that first um, I also burned some incense as well as well as candles so um, don't forget to do that and that really is the end of this video so I will see y'all in the next one bye